you you are but see that's the thing privately you are the peacemaker you're thoughtful you're caring you do check in on people and then tv i mean i i think you're great television because you're just so animated but i never i never thought of you as like the angry black woman i did it well because i think you had an understanding of who i was and i think you know at first um doing uh the rio and the braxtons it was kind of like leveled out a little bit because then you you got to see my real personality like that's who i really truly am you know what i mean um funny opinionated educated um creative a producer is that why lonnie love was threatened by you Cause she, I don't think she liked you. I mean, she, you know, if you ever run into the bully on the schoolyard, cause I saw the breakfast club interview where all the girls were kind of sitting around her, like Latavia, Latoya and Kelly, but baby, she, she wanted to be Beyonce that day. And she had a lot to say about you. It just, was she jealous because you were the more popular woman on the show? I mean, everybody loved you. I heard Michelle Obama even loved you more than all the other girls. That's what the streets told me. Well, you know, Michelle and I hit it off <laughs> very well <laughs> when we first met. And I think she's a phenomenal woman. And it was surprising to me because that was the first time I've ever been to the White House. And she knew every member of my family. She even asked about my baby and where he was and how my mom was. And, you know, that is the kind of response, you know, that I always wanted the Braxton's to have on our community. So wait, so, okay, you're really good at deflecting. So going back to why Lonnie doesn't like you, is that because, I mean, cause I don't know, did Michelle ask about her family when you guys were at the White House? Well, um, she asked about all of us. <laughs> you need the Lord, you too. I don't even listen. I don't even want to talk negatively about any of those ladies, you know? Since then, Adrian and I have had amazing conversations and I love her to death. And Jeannie, I'm so happy for her. And Tamara, I miss her so much. And I just really honestly don't know where things went wrong between, you know, Lonnie and myself, because I looked at all of those girls as my sisters. And so what I don't want to do now is, you know, perpetuate something between she and I, again, that would um, demonstrate us being negative towards each other in public. I just think that, you know, we have to take responsibility for the things that we do and participate in. And I'm just not going to participate in arguing with another black person publicly ever again. And just to any of those girls, I just want to just say publicly, um, I don't, I love you. you know, I wish you well. I'm proud of you. It's not easy out here. And that's it. You know, I, I don't even care about what the issues were. Um, it's just, not something that I think about anymore because you know I'm not even on that path anymore. The show has clearly been failing without you. They've gone through multiple uh, rotating seats. They had Amanda Seals on there who clearly was too black for that show. Uh, and then they tried to come back with a segment that was almost identical to her brand. That was interesting. Uh, do you miss the show at all? And do you wish you were there? Would you ever go back? I definitely would never go back, but um, I do miss the talk show forum you know i definitely fell in love with it i definitely um want to go back to that um but i just think that at the time i didn't understand i didn't understand it but i think that my time there was up you know and i feel like i was being set up for what is happening in my life now which is a total transformation and a different outlook on life and a different you know view of myself because I feel like if, if I would have stayed there, then I wouldn't have had the growth that I've had, the individual growth that I have now that was definitely necessary. I feel like when I've earned something, like I've earned it, nobody's given me anything. I, right. Yeah, I earned love and hip hop. I earned while and out. I've earned this show. I've earned it all. Uh, I, I don't, if somebody tried to take something from me, I'm burning everything down. But that's just me. Is that childish? Is that, what is that? Is that me just not? Is that what am I missing? Maturity? Uh, what is it? Because I, if I, if I bring, if I, if I build some shit, it don't work for me. But it gotta all burn the fuck down. That's just, but that's me. Well, I, I don't feel like I didn't think that way at some point. Um, but I've always moved with integrity. You know what I mean? And that's why I haven't completely burned down the barn. <laughs> mm. Um, 
And I also feel like sometimes we we think we're God and we think that we have to do his job like he needs our help. And he doesn't. You know, he always he's always going to take care of his people. And I believe that I am, you know, a child of God and I feel like he's he's got my back and he holds my future and my hand and doesn't anyone else. And so um I don't know, Jason, I'm not gonna lie and say, you know, I wasn't angry and hurt and devastated at that time because definitely I was. It was it was my baby, you know what I'm saying? It was something that, you know, Vince and I and Telepictures and Sally Ann created together and it was important to all of us and we loved it. Um, but you know, sometimes things wait, wait, Sally Ann Telepictures, what you guys created the real? Together, yes, we did. Wait, Lonnie didn't create the real? Oh, wait a minute. No, see, I was about to let you get out of here with that with these questions, but I'm I'm good. You could just refuse to answer, but I'm gonna ask. Wait a minute. So you mean to tell me Lonnie did not create the real because the way she talks about the show, it's her show. Did I miss some? Tamar, you playing that? You playing? And Sally Ann was the woman who got you out. No, Sally Ann Salcino, absolutely not. Oh no, okay, so Sally Ann, is, she's an ally. She's good. Oh, I love her. I love okay, her. Okay, because I've, I've heard good things. She's amazing, she's one of the, and I'll tell everybody this, she's one of the most amazing Hollywood producers, period. But wait, you didn't, act, you didn't say all that about how amazing Lonnie was, so I'm just gonna let it go. So Lonnie tried to steal your show that you created with Vince. Got it. Okay. <laughs> She did it and I didn't say that. <laughs> but let's move on, you know? Let's. You know, okay. <laughs> so one thing I know about you for sure is you are a really loving, caring mother and you love your son uh, tremendously. I do. Um, when you think about you as a mom, what, what comes to mind? Balance and how I'm always looking for balance. Because, you know, I'm a hustler too. <laughs> and so like, you know, I'm, I'm working all the time and, you know, always trying to make sure my pillar with my child is always met is so hard for me, you know, because he's growing up and the things he used to like back then, he don't like now. So um, yeah, that's hard for me. So it's balanced. And I always want to make sure he's happy. I'm always asking him, are you happy? And that could be counseling. And that could be, you know, him being in counseling, our counseling together. I'm, I just want to make sure that our lines of communication are always open. 